Do you want to know how amazing people connect? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. like what you hear, please share. Special shout out to our sponsors, Southpaw's Pizza and Davis Home Inspections. For more information on Davis Home Inspections and their home inspection services, go to davisone.com. And for more information on Southpaw's Pizza and their outstanding pizza in Albany, Oregon, go to southpawspizza.com. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. Hashtag Russ Selfie. So glad to be with you today. And as always, I'm always glad that it's Monday. And today is actually a special Monday. It is the 4th of July here in the U.S. Well, I guess it's 4th of July everywhere, but <laughs> we are celebrating today. And so Independence Day. So anyway, just a, a lot of fun. Great time for family and friends and people to get together. So uh, happy fourth today. Glad you're all joining us. You know, I love to get moving on a new week and I want to remind you all what I'm all about. So if you haven't heard this enough from me, I love to help people. I love to connect with people. And my purpose from wild life is to inspire and encourage you to live a purpose driven life of significance. And what does that mean? I want you to be a world changer. I want you to be a difference maker. I want you to do the amazing things God has created you to do. So how do I do that? Well, on this show, we do that by bringing on amazing guests like Lydia Hernandez, who's with me today, and she is amazing. And I'm going to let her tell you all about herself and what she's up to and the things she's got going right now and what she's part of. This is actually part two of our conversation because she was on just a short time back with me and we had to do a part two because there was so much good stuff. So anyway, I know a lot of you are already connected with Lydia and you know all about what she's doing, but today is going to be a great day. So wanted to remind you of a couple things. Don't forget, I am the author of Befuddled, Live the Life You Choose right there behind me. There it is. And uh, so it's designed to inspire and encourage you through book form, a little slice of my life, a little bit about me, how I talk about purpose and passion and driving you to connect and build community with people. So that is uh, something you definitely get on Amazon, you get on Barnes and Noble, any online booksellers, or you can actually go to RussHedge.com and connect with me and you can go to buy a book now on RussHedge.com and get it. So I'm going to put that up for you. RussHedge.com. There it is. And uh, that is also, like I said, how you get in touch with me. So all of my information, all my connection links, social media, email, my phone number, you can even schedule time directly on my calendar to Zoom with me and get to know me. I would love to get to know you and all you're about. I love to connect with people. That's what I'm all about. And this year I've got a uh, an actual goal of at least a thousand new people. And so I would love for you to be one of those. If you would like to connect with me and we haven't connected, again, go to rusthedge.com. You can connect with me right there and schedule time. Also, I just want to remind you today that I love for you to share this show out. So right now, as you're watching, hit the share button, tell your friends, 
hey, you don't want to miss this. Marketing with Russ is on. Lihir Hernandez is on right now. If for some reason you missed it and you're watching on replay, thank you very much. Appreciate you watching on replay as well. You can still share this out. You can still let others know. And as it says there on the bottom of the screen, you can subscribe on YouTube. Just go to RussHedge.com, click on my YouTube link, or just go to YouTube and type in Russ Hedge, and I'll pop right up. You can subscribe so that you can watch all the past content and like Lihia's last show, and you can also get notices about upcoming events. So we broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn every week, Monday and Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. This show, Marketing with Russ, 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time every Monday and Thursday. Have other shows you need to check out, The Experience Live with Russ and Scott and Russ Reels Live. But for today, we're just going to keep it at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, uh, Monday and Thursday for Marketing with Russ. Love to have you join in on all that we're doing. So the last thing I'm going to tell you, our theme of the show is how amazing people connect. What do we talk about? We talk about people like Lehia that are doing amazing things, connecting with others, connecting with organizations, connecting with causes, all the things that are going on. And Lehia has got some really good information for us today. So without any further ado, I think we're just going to jump to it. Bring her in. Here she comes. How's it going, Hello. Lehia? <laughs> Woo. Hello. Happy Monday. It is a great day to be here and celebrate a special day for all of you. It is uh, it is my honor to be invited to this show, Ross. Thank you so much. Well, you are so welcome. And, you know, I was just telling somebody earlier, I love to connect with everybody. I love to connect with people. But I am actually fairly choosy on who I bring on shows, and, and I hand-select everybody. And you are high on my list since you've been on now for the second time. So I appreciate what you're all about and, and your education background and all the great things you're doing. And you here I am up here in Salem, Oregon, and you were down there in Costa Rica. And so we're a little distance apart. Not that big a time difference, but a little distance apart. So give everybody a little snapshot of who he is and what you're up to and what you want to chat about today. Of course. Uh, well, I am an English, uh, an English and martial art teacher. Um, I love working with uh, children and adolescents, but mainly children, they are my passion. I really like to work with them. Uh, and honestly, Ross, this being in LinkedIn has changed my life uh, so positively because I, as you said before, I have connected with so many wonderful people, so many amazing friends here. And I'm, I'm really grateful and also honored. I feel honored to be connected with all those people. Um, my, my main background is education, but my main mission to be here in LinkedIn now is to spread awareness about children's mental health. So that is my main mission in this moment. And I'm, I'm really working on this and I'm, I'm really grateful with you because you are letting me also be here and, um, you know, spreading this message because if you see a lot of programs or even broadcasts, or even if you read the posts through LinkedIn, there are not many, many, I mean, many of them talk about mental health, but not many of them talk about children's mental health, right? Right. Well, I completely agree with you on that. You know, uh, it's an important subject. I think that a lot of times people are afraid to actually talk about certain things, certain topics, or they, they scare them, or they're kind of taboo. And so, kind of give us a little bit more uh, information on what you're doing to bring awareness to children's mental health. I am part also of uh, Education Influence. Education Influence is an organization and it was founded like three years before I got into the in in organization last year. Um, we work like um, all the main, the main cause that they have is to gather teachers all over the world and you know, get, we get together by Zoom call, and we talk about our approaches, and we talk about also about children's mental health, which is one of the things that we worry about. And it is really, really amazing because even they have a platform. In this platform, you can uh, write articles or write posts, and you can share the topics you want. 
but our main purpose is working uh, on a kind of education uh, transformation and you know uh, not only in, in the way we work in the classrooms but also in the way that children are treated in the in the classrooms what, what do they feel how do they feel what is happening to them that is really important for us and also i will say ross that i told you that i am part of mission thumbs up this is a foundation it was founded by my best friend and, and we work on mental health also he's working mainly in the part of uh, adults mental health so i am working on the children's mental health part and for us it's really important to spread this message and to help others and that they feel supported by us because as we said before this is a kind of a stigma that our society is also uh sometimes they are like you know they don't want to talk about this topic yeah Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and you know something, when we talk about mental health, and I'm talking especially in my case about children, we talk about psychological, we, co we talk about emotional and social well-being. And, and something that sometimes worries me is that according to, to certain, uh, certain surveys, they say that most, more children are suffering from issues, mental issues, than 30 years before. And even that one from six children, they are having mental issues and only 75% of them are getting the help that they, that they really need. So that is really uh, concerning, at least. I always concern about them because, you know, I always say we, it is better if you build strong children that will later want to repair strong or broken adults, right? So it's better to work during those stages that, of course, every stage have different challenges, but we need to work with children. Uh, we need to care more about them, what is happening. And also after pandemic, there's, there are different different things about mental health that there are uh, really worry uh, for all of us. So I, I, really, I really want to spread this message because you know some people even dismiss this, the importance of mental health some people say if when i was a child i had those problems so everyone should be able to overcome them but it is not like that it is not like that we should be more compassionate with children we should be more understanding with them uh, i always say to people even to some parents because <laughs> we as teacher we had to deal with that so uh, I always say to them, before you judge children, you, sh you should ask yourself certain questions. Like, do you know if those children are listening um, in their homes? Do you know if they are having some kind of uh, bullying at the school? Do you know if, if they are eating well? Do you know if they have uh, like the attention that they need at home? So we, we, sh we shouldn't judge children. We, we, we are not here, I always say, we are not here to judge, but to love. Well, you know, it's interesting you bring that up because I'm thinking as you're going through that, you know, you, knowing what children are going through, I was a big proponent as a parent uh, that I always wanted to know where my kids were, what they were doing, what they were involved in, who they hung around, their environment and all of that. Because when I heard other parents say, wow, I didn't know that was happening. I, I, I didn't know it kind of came out of left field and I didn't realize that they felt this way and this happened. And I'm thinking, how can you not know? Well, the only way you cannot mm -hmm. know is by not paying attention. Mm -hmm. And whether it is a parent, which I think that all of good organizations and communities should be supporting the parents, supporting the kids as much as they can, because families together is one of the best supports. But where they don't have that family structure, you need to be paying attention to those kids too and seeing what's going on if they're in a, if they're in a bad family situation. But I think it all boils down to what you just alluded to. And that was paying attention to what's going on in our kids or kids around us lives. So we know what they're going through and how we can help them. Of course. And, and you know, something many parents, they, they don't want to accept that. But if you see those problems like anxiety, depression, even eating disorders or sleeping disorders, they don't realize what is happening to the to the kids. And mm -hmm. all of these problems, these mental issues 
are part of a way that they are responding to what is happening to their surroundings. Maybe parents, they say, no, but everything is okay. But this is a way they are or calling attention or this is a kind of, uh, they are responding to what is happening around them. So we right. should be really careful. For example, if you see adolescents, when they get to this stage, it's really difficult sometimes for us to handle as parents and also as teachers. But some adolescents, they find difficulty when they want to adjust to their new stage of adulthood. So what, what, what happens is that they, if they don't have the attention they need at home or the advice they need at home, what happens is that they look for other ways. So bad companies, or they look for certain substances that are not so good for them. And these substances can, could be even drugs and they will affect their mental health. So later parents ask, what is happening to them? What are they consuming that? But we, if we go uh, behind those, those scenarios, so then we will realize that something worse is happening to them and we are not paying attention to the environment or to right. their problems. Yeah. No, let me just chip in there and say that I agree with that 100%. You know, I am a huge proponent of the environment is so critical in kids' lives and in our lives. I mean, you know, I love the Jim Rome quote that says we are the average of the five people closest to us. What he's basically saying is the people we surround ourselves with and the environment we put ourselves in is what we become. Mm -hmm. And kids, when they're having issues, it is something in their environment, you know, and you need to be able to take a look at that, whether you're the parent or whether you're a teacher or whoever, and say, you know, what's going on, whether it's bullying issues, whether it's eating disorders, whatever, what is causing uh, things in their environment that are causing these issues that they're having. And so, um, no, I just think this is so amazing. So the, there's an actual group you're working with. Say that again, uh, that to try to get the word out. And how are you getting the word out to people? Uh, you're, you're talking about Mission Thumbs Up? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Mission Thumbs Up is a foundation. And it was uh, specially founded uh, for this purpose of spreading awareness about the importance of mental health. When I came and I started posting and anything, I have no idea what to do or how to do it. But I found the purpose here. And then I say, if I always care about children, this is the way that I can spread my message through this foundation. So I always say to people, please follow Mission Thumbs Up because this is uh, my main purpose of being in LinkedIn. I really want to spread this message and I will hope some other people to get engaged in this kind of uh, in this kind of topic, because it is really it is really concerning, um, and you know something, uh, Ross. Uh, if we analyze, for example, our life when we were little, it was re really different. It was really different in certain in certain ways, and if you see now, uh, if we analyze like thirty years before, for kids now life is more challenging. They have to face like, um, for example, a more um, challenging even the education system the system is is very demanding i'm not saying that they don't have the capacity of course they have it but they need to be children they need to to play to go outside and to live this beautiful beautiful stage of their life and also um another thing is that they have to keep up with social media i'm not saying that social media is is not good but it is the way we use it so the problem is that, for example, I, I we talked before, cyberbullying is one of the problems that I have to face. And just imagine if they don't have any anybody that is paying attention to them. And the, the other thing is multitasking. Multitasking is also one really um, one problem for them because sometimes they say, no, this is not affecting me. I am able to do my homework in the computer and checking the phone and playing with the tablet and listening to the music. Of course, they are really capable, but it is not about capacity. It is about all those distractions around them. And they say, no, this doesn't affect me. But of course, this is affecting them. And if we are not concerned about them, about what they are doing, they have no guidance because they are not in capacity to decide at that time. Right? 
Yes. And, you know, I, I love this, you know, your passion towards getting the word out, your passion towards helping kids going through this. You know, I find it interesting because you brought up the whole thing about LinkedIn and, you know, you and I got connected, you know, this whole show, uh, the theme is how amazing people connect and you are connecting and helping get the word out for this really worthy cause and all that you're, you're passionate about with kids, which is great. But it's interesting that it's so important us for adults as well, like you and I have done, is to connect and build community with like-minded people that want to support and help each other. Because just like I was more than happy to have you come back on the show to chat and talk a little bit about this, because I want to support you. I want to help all that you're doing to help kids. And that's one thing that people, I just want to say, everybody watching today, that is one thing that you should think about in your life. Who are you connecting with? Who are you building community with? Because it 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 affects who you are. It affects, you know, your mental health as well. And that when you're connecting with the right people and you're around good, positive, like-minded people, it's amazing the things you can get done. And I think, Lahia, that's why you have been, you've done such a great job because you have connected with some amazing people that are that are right in your court to help you get this word out. And I think that's amazing. And I just want people to think about that. Think about who you're connected with as an adult, who you're putting in your community, what your environment is and how it's affecting you personally and your mental health. Because if you're not, if you're good for nothing, then how can you help others? If you're having troubles with your own self-care and your own issues and your own mental health, how can you help other people? And Lydia, you're doing a great job of getting Thank the word out, so sharing this, you. and you clearly have done a great job of doing just what I talked about, building community to help. I really like to help uh, everyone. And I love being in the, if you can see, I always like to participate in all the, broadcasts and shows that I see because it is a great way to know people and to connect with great people and 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 you know Ross I'm, I'm really I'm really honored to to know all these new friends that I have uh, met through LinkedIn because I have learned so much as you said before you connect with some people and you whether you your life will be benefited or your life will be affected negatively so in my in my case, I I would say my life has has been so positively uh, affected because I feel so so honored to be really uh, you know connected with all of you. I have learned so much from all of you, and even being here today from for me is uh, you know that it is a challenge also, but I have learned from all all those experts in broadcasts and programs and shows and it is really amazing it is really amazing to share what we know to share our dreams to share everything that we want to know just to help others because we if we want to help others we i always say if you want to help others put yourself in other shoes so that is right. the main way you can help all those people if you do that it is really easy it is for at least for me it's, re it's really easy well, in building community, if you want others to support you, you need to support others. Of and um, so this is, I think, uh, giving and helping. You've got a really giving heart in all that you do. And I just appreciate you so much, all you're doing. And uh, so I want to give you a, a last moment here. Any things you want to get out there that we haven't talked about yet and then wrap things up and give us your last thoughts on this whole topic. Of course, I just want to say um, that I'm not saying that uh, our children won't have any trouble around them. Of course, they will have to face very tough difficulties around them and all the challenges that we all have in life. What we have to do is to give them the tools, tools or help them to build the skills to face all those circumstances and to manage them in a healthy way. So having mental or good mental health will help them to be optimistic, to be resilient, and to keep on with all these difficult situations that they will have in life. So if we want, 
really healthy adults, we should start now. We should prevent, we should prevent all those mental issues from this moment. Thank yeah. you so much, Ross, for this opportunity for me. It has been a real pleasure to be here. Well, you know, you are an awesome person, Lahia, and all that you're doing. And I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate being connected to you because you add value to my life. And all that I'm I'm hearing from you that you're doing uh, is just amazing. And I, I applaud you. I appreciate you. you. Um, let everybody know, how can they get in touch with you? What's the best way to connect? I'm guessing LinkedIn, we've had that ticking <laughs> across the bottom. Yes. But outside, what are other ways that they can get in touch with you so they can uh, help with everything you got going on? The best way, as you said before, the best way, because I am almost uh, connected with LinkedIn, it has been the best way for me. Even, I should say, is the only only social media that I use So because I love it, because I love it. And it is the best way to connect with me is through LinkedIn. They can send me a, a message, a private message, but most of the time I'm posting or I'm connected here. This is the best way. Perfect. Thank you so perfect. much. Yes. You and bet. Remember, remember, follow Mission Thumbs Up. Please. There you go. I got it right there for everybody. <laughs> Hashtag mission Thank thumbs you. up. You bet. And um, yeah, no, absolutely. I am so thankful for you and I appreciate you coming on today. And and um, what a great way to start July. First show of July, 4th of July, no matter where you are, uh, it's, you know, it is a great day today when you're when you're working to help other people, especially children. So thank you so much for all you do. And uh, We'll have you back soon or on one of my other shows soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ross. Yes, you have been right. for me. You bet. You bet. All right, Leah, we'll talk to you soon. Hang tight. I'm going to send you out to the green room and then wrap things up here. Hey, everybody. Wow. Okay, so some of the topics we have on here are amazing. This was a little deeper around children and mental health and caring for them. But it's so important because you know what? My mic was muted. There we go. I'm back. Hello, everybody. Okay. So uh, the fun of live streaming, I was, it looks like I was muted for a moment, but I'm back. So I just wanted to say that this is amazing. Uh, sometimes the show here is a lot more lighthearted, but today a little deeper as far as subject. Uh, but you know, it's important because every challenge we have in life, like children's mental health, gives us an opportunity to do some great things, opportunity to help, opportunity to give, support um, places like Lihia and all that she's doing. You know, her information has been ticking along the bottom. It's in the show notes. It'll be in the comments. And I need you to make sure and click and connect with her and find out what you can do to support her and make sure that you're putting down hashtag mission thumbs up in support of all that they're doing. And uh, she is uh, just a great person to get in contact with. So I encourage you to do that today. Just want to remind you again that we are here every Monday and Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, and that is on Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Going to promo real quick that I have a Wednesday show with Scott D. Scott Smith. And that is the experience live with Russ and Scott every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. That is on uh, just like this one, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Um, before that on Wednesdays at 6.30 on Instagram, we have uh, the experience backstage. So those are shows on Wednesday. And then also on Thursday, besides the uh, marketing with Russ in the morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, we have Russ Reels Live at 4 p.m. Um, Pacific Daylight Time. And that is a panel-driven, topic-driven show. So we're going to have to have Lihi on one of those shows when we talk about mental health. But we talk about all kinds of great topics this week. Coming up is going to be a great show, so make sure that you tune in. And uh, I just want to thank you all for being here today. Thank you for being part of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Thank you for being with us and supporting Lydia and supporting all I do. Remember, go to RussHedge.com if you want to get in touch with me. Let's connect. And until we see you again, have a great day and a great life. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. 
be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day.